Rachel Pronger, Kate Martin, and Mariah Haywood. Uh, Coach, if you would, just give us an initial thought on the ball game. Um, well, kudos to Montini. They, they hit a few more shots than we did tonight, but I, I am very proud of our kids. I, I, I'm disappointed for them, um, but I am not disappointed in them. And that's the, the biggest message that I, I need to give them, that uh, they, they battle. Um, the bigs did what they needed to do and buried us too many times. Uh, but we had some open looks, and it just didn't go down tonight. Question. Defensively, you got to be pleased. Though. I mean, only allowed 37 points to a Montini team of that size and no one to shoot. We did, and especially um, as for them to shoot 40% or low 40, whatever it was, um, they had some really good looks right under the basket with the bigs. And so we did a good job on everybody else. Uh, but that's not something you simulate very well. And uh, they did a great job finding them and, and getting them the ball. Coach, you're only, you're only out-rebounded by two by that team. I mean, that's got to be a sense of pride, too. It, it, yeah, you look at it, we just didn't hit shots. And, and I thought we had some good looks. Um, you know, from, from my standpoint, we are here to put kids in positions to get good shots. And, and some nights they go down and some nights they don't. Uh, but for the most part, we didn't force a whole lot. Um, we got desperate there at the end and, and started putting some forced ones up. But that's what happens when you're when you're down in that situation. Bringing in the three seniors now have to regroup and come back tomorrow, and just a chance to play out your senior year at state. Yeah, I mean we can end our season all year, so we're excited for that. We're just going to use this as fuel and just uh, use it as motivation to help us for tomorrow. It's still an honor to get here and be here and. In the last four teams playing, so I think we just need to be positive about it and just end on a win. Uh, tonight wasn't a good night for us, but you know we can bounce back from this. So. Right, you were six inches shorter than the six five girl, but you had two blocks on her there in the second quarter, so that feel pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that feels pretty good. You know, she's a she is a really big kid. She's really strong, so you know, getting around. You know, front her and trying to stop her from getting the rebounds and stopping her from shooting over me. It was kind of, it was pretty tough, but I'm trying my best. Coach, you mentioned the difficulty of their, their bigs. How much more difficult is when they have two out there and maybe they, they play the both of them together a lot more than they have in the past? I, you would have to check. I, I'm going to go out and say that's the most those yeah. two kids have been on the floor yeah. together all year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but why wouldn't you when they were getting the post to post that they were getting? He's, Jason's not a dumb guy, so um, it, it just we we made some adjustments and, and it took us a little while. But like I said, hats off to Montini. They just they found it and, and did a little bit better job putting it through the basket than what we did tonight. But uh, not from a lack of effort on our kids and and they battled. Um, if you'd have told me that. You know, they only shot 40% and, and they only out-rebounded this by two and we had 12 turnovers. I would probably have guessed without seeing a score that we win that game. Anything else for Edwardsville? Uh, Lori, you've had, a, you know, you've had the privilege of coaching some outstanding uh, kids over the years, especially the three seniors you've got here. I mean, what kind of memories will you be taking from, these, uh, from this group? Well, they, they compete. And I respect and love them to death for that. And they put it on the line, and that's why it's hard to sit here now for them. Um, because when you put it on the line like they do, uh, it's disappointing when you come up a little bit short. So, But uh, I think it's better for kids to put it on the line and see where they're at than it is to, to never work hard and, and see what you can get out of it. For the, girl, for, the, for the seniors, I mean, this has been a great run for you guys the last two, three years. I mean, what, is it, what does this all mean uh, to you guys overall in the the whole scheme of things, I guess. Well, we're really disappointed on how tonight turned out, but we just have to end on a positive note. Like I said, and just it's our last time together. We we forget that we we were playing on house money. We could have lost three or four games ago. So um, when you really put that in perspective, um, that ball rolling off against Belize, then we're, I'm I'm pretty appreciative to be here. Yeah, I mean, it just means the world. We wouldn't want to do it with anyone else, so we're just really happy to been able to make our season last as long as possible. So we're just happy to be here. You had a you had those school you had the whole school behind you, no question about that. I really appreciate these girls, you know. I, you know, I just
just got here not too long ago. So, you know, these girls are like my sisters more than the teammates. So this is a family, and we're going to end up in that one. Okay, to talk about your effort tonight, you had 13 points, you had a couple threes in the second there to help your team trying to get back into it. Just talk about how you felt out there tonight. Um, I don't know, I was just trying to knock some shots down, trying to get some momentum, trying to get, you know, stop, stop the lead that they had going, but um, I'm just glad I can knock some shots down. Anything else for Edwardsville? Thank you, Coach. Thank you, girls. Watch your Thank stuff. You. Thank you.